Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best tablet. Starting at number 5. iPad 2022, 10th. The iPad 2022 is a bit more expensive than its predecessors, but Apple justified the price hike with a sleek new redesign that slightly expanded the display, removed the home button, upgraded the power button with Touch ID support and added USB-C charging. Sadly, you're still pretty limited in what accessories you can get for this basic iPad. It doesn't work with the new Apple Pencil Pro, for example, but does work with the first-generation Apple Pencil. These limitations are easier to stomach when you remember this iPad starts at $349, which is $250 cheaper than the entry-level iPad Air. And while its shortcomings sting, we still feel the basic iPad remains the best iPad to buy if you want an Apple tablet but can't justify the added expense of the iPad Air's $599 starting price. The interesting thing about the 2022 redesign of the basic iPad is that it brought it a lot closer to the iPad Air in terms of design, thinner, bigger screen, USB-C charging, etc. So for the $349 you're getting an iPad 2022 that's not far behind the iPad Air, our top recommendation for best tablet, in terms of capabilities. It lasted nearly 11 hours in our battery testing, too, so it's plenty long-lived enough to see you through a day on the couch. Coming at number 4. Microsoft Surface Pro. The Microsoft Surface Pro 9 is virtually the same as the Microsoft Surface Pro 8. We don't have a problem with iterative releases, but we hoped Microsoft would do something to make the latest edition of their flagship Windows 11 2 in one more appealing. Sadly, that isn't the case. The Surface Pro 9 is available with your choice of either a 12th Gen Intel Core CPU or a Microsoft SQ3 ARM processor. 5G connectivity is only available on the ARM model, a first for the Surface line. And based on what Microsoft showed us at its Microsoft Surface event, the 5G model is also optimized for Advanced Neural Processing Unit NPU, features. We tested and reviewed the Intel version, and it's a good Windows tablet that's speedy enough to handle day-to-day -day work tasks. The touchscreen looks decent and feels responsive, and the whole package is light enough to comfortably carry to work or the coffee shop. The fact that neither the detachable keyboard nor the stylus does knock some of the shine off this otherwise solid Windows 11 tablet, however, so try to get it as part of a sale or bundle deal if you can. At number 3. OnePlus Pad. The OnePlus Pad is a big Android tablet with a huge 13MP rear camera, attractive curved edges and a unique 7 to 5 aspect ratio on its display. With this unique look, OnePlus first tablet really stands out from the competition. Watching videos and reading ebooks is a great experience on the Pad's vivid 11.6-inch 144Hz display, and thanks to its MediaTek Dimensity 9000 CPU and Android 13 OS, apps and games run smooth and fast. This lightweight slate also has exceptional battery life, lasting over 13 hours in our testing, as you'll see in our battery test results chart below. For all those reasons and more, if you're looking for an excellent Android tablet for under $500 you'd likely be very happy with the OnePlus Pad. Number 2 of my list. Amazon Fire 7. The Amazon Fire 7 tablet has one standout feature, and that's its $59 price tag. That absurdly low price gets you a surprisingly decent little slate, with a snappy quad-core 1.3 GHz processor, a headphone jack and a microSD card reader so you can slot in extra storage, and a remarkably light 0.6-pound plastic frame. Just don't expect any of the luxuries you get on more expensive, premium tablets from Amazon and elsewhere. For starters, the Fire 7 tablet's sub-HD screen is not sharp enough for anyone used to an iPad, and its lock screen is filled with ads unless you pay extra. Still, it's a great choice if you need a cheap tablet to give a child without worrying about how much it'll cost to replace if they break it. And number 1. Apple iPad Air. The iPad Air 2024 is the tablet we recommend as best for most people because it's light, powerful and delivers 11 plus hours of battery life in our testing. This is also the first iPad Air ever sold in two sizes, 
the classic 11-inch and larger 13-inch, so it's the air to get if you want the screen real estate of a 13-inch iPad Pro without the extra power. The 2024 iPad Air is powered by the Apple M2 chip, which is more than powerful enough to fly through web browsing or run any app you can download off Apple's App Store. Plus, the screen looks lovely and the 12MP cameras on front and back do a great job of capturing detail, helping you look your best on video calls. While you can get almost as good of a tablet for $150 less if you go for a basic iPad, we think the extra cost is worth it, if you can afford it, to get the new iPad Air, as it's a great tablet that's faster and more capable than the basic iPad. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.